Hey folks, this is Old Texas Paul. I want you to take a look at this video of Clarence Thomas, and uh, I'll, I'll be right back. One of the things I say in response to the media is when they talk about, or especially early on, about the way I did my job, I said, I will absolutely leave the court when I do my job as poorly as you do yours. <laughs> and that was meant as a compliment, really. <laughs> you hear that, smug son of a bitch? Do you, do you hear that? Can you listen to that and not tell me that you believe that every word Anita Hill said was absolute gospel? Absolute gospel. You know, I, I want to read you another quote from, and I wrote it down so that I made sure I got it word for word. Okay, I want to read you another quote from Clarence Thomas. As a society, we are becoming addicted to wanting particular outcomes not living with the outcomes we don't like. We can't be an institution that can be bullied into giving you the outcome you want. Says the man that is overturning 50 years of legal precedent by voting to strike down Roe v. Wade and whose wife is engaging in insurrection against our country. Yeah. I want to just add a disclosure here, okay? This isn't just politics. This, this is personal. I don't just politically disagree with Clarence and Jenny Thomas. I personally dislike them. They are a cancer on our country. And it is time to do something about it. It is time to do something about it. You know, you go back to take a look at Clarence Thomas. And he has been the worst Supreme Court justice that I, I, I can, you know, I'm a history buff and I, I, it's hard to come up with one that has been worse than Clarence Thomas. He spent 10 years, 10 years as a Supreme Court justice and never asked a question. You know, every once in a while during the oral arguments, a justice will sit and listen. You know, maybe the questions that they had on or whatever will be asked by another justice, whatever. It's not unheard of for, for a justice to sit quietly through oral arguments occasionally. But 10 years, 10 years without a question, that is a record, people. No one has ever even come close to that. Just did not contribute to oral arguments at all. <laughs> and it's not just lazy stupidity. I mean, it's, it's, he is a horrible person. You look at the decisions that, that, that he's, he's made, you know, like Flowers versus Mississippi. This was a case that was clear, clear cut. Um, this is a case that Brett Kavanaugh, in the majority opinion, said the prosecutors were cartoonishly racist. Brett Kavanaugh called them cartoonishly racist. Yeah, Clarence Thomas said, no, that was fine. What they did was fine. Yeah, no, no big deal. <laughs> I mean, he is by far the worst Supreme Court justice we have ever had. And his wife has been flirting with the line between activism and, and, and just straight up bribery for a, a long time. It goes back, way back when she worked with for the Heritage Foundation. If you remember, if you're old like me, you remember... Uh, the Bush administration asked the Heritage Foundation to give them a list of appointees. The person at the Heritage Foundation that was employed by the Heritage Foundation and did that work for Bush uh, was Jenny Thomas. While her husband was listening to oral arguments in Bush v. Gore. I mean, really? That's not a conflict. I mean, you've got your wife working for one of the people that is a complainant. <clears throat> it gets worse than that. She started a, a consulting company called Liberty Consulting, and she's on all of these radical right-wing organizations, boards, all, I mean, just all, like Turning Point USA. They, if you don't know who they are, they're a group that wants to recruit young people into the conservative movement, so they've set up... Uh, you know, organizations in on uh, college campuses all over the country. Uh, they just set one up in my grandson's college. Um, they they've had a real problem. They've had a real problem. They've had some 
uh, racism scandals. Uh, you know, people that work there using the N-word, stuff like that. But by far the worst to come out was a woman by the name of Crystal Clayton. She just flat out in one of her Snapchats said, I hate black people. And uh, bacon a day will keep the Islam away. And she thought that was hilarious. That blew up and, you know, Turning Point USA had had so many scandals. They ended up having to actually fire her, although actually they guess they really didn't because uh, Jenny Thomas was on the advisory board for Turning Point USA and Crystal Clayton went to working from here to working for Jenny Thomas. <laughs> and she travels with her. Uh, she does some media work for her and she's been to her home out in Fairfax Station, Virginia and taking pictures with her and you know these are the kind of people that that Jenny Thomas works with and represents all the damn time. It's really starting to get clouded with her husband because you know it's like you've got this uh, uh, Center for Security and Policy is another one. Uh, a guy by the name Frank Gaffney runs that. He's paying Jenny Thomas $200,000 uh, for something. You know something. We don't know. We don't know what kind of consulting she does for him. But at the same time, Frank Gaffney, who has a real Muslim problem, has been identified by the Anti-Defamation -Def League as putting forward conspiracy theories about Muslims and whatnot, files an amicus brief in Trump's Muslim ban. Yeah. <laughs> the Center for Security Policy files an amicus brief on a case that's before the Supreme Court and has paid Jenny Thomas $200,000 and Clarence Thomas uh, upheld the Muslim ban, voted to uphold the Muslim ban. It was upheld. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know how more clear cut that, that gets. I mean, you know, I mean, you pump $200,000 into the Thomas household and you're filing amicus briefs on a case that Thomas is, is hearing. Yeah. And it gets worse, people. It gets worse. I mean, you'd think that's bad. I mean, but it gets, they're really a cancer on our society. It gets worse. We know that it had come out that Jenny Thomas and all of her activism and whatnot had been, if you want to call it that, I call it insurrection, had been bombarding Mark Meadows with complaints after the election. She wanted Sidney Powell to represent uh, Donald Trump. She wanted to release the Kraken, and she was putting forward all these QAnon conspiracy theories all over Facebook, social media, everywhere, just bombing it with just nutball cons conspiracy theories and blowing up Mark Meadows' phone. Now, I, I don't exactly know why the wife of a Supreme Court justice would have the president chief of staff's phone number, but she did. She's just texting the shit out of him, trying to get him to to overturn that election. And not only is Jenny Thomas telling Mark Meadows who needs to lead Trump's legal defense, she's telling him who to purge, who to fire in various departments, and that she wants to to vet people and provide him with a list of people. She she is going to tell the Trump White House who to hire who's loyal to Trump. She wants to go through and fire all the disloyal people. Is that not fascism? I mean, is that not pure fascism? She wants to go through and vet people that she considers herself to be disloyal to Trump and provide them with a list of people that she thinks will be sufficiently loyal. Not loyal to the Constitution, loyal to Trump. Oh, and just an FYI, one of the people on that list serve is John Eastman. He's a former clerk of Clarence Thomas, and if you haven't been following things, John Eastman is Trump's lawyer. Yeah, he, he just was the one that lost his court case uh, to keep his coup memos. He planned the coup for Donald Trump. Yeah, another winner around the uh, Thomases. Didn't stop there. She also got in touch, we find out, with Shana Bolick, who is, uh, at the time, right after the election, working real hard to get things overturned in Arizona. She 
being Jenny Thomas, had contacted Bolick, who is a good family friend. Her husband, Clint Bolick, is on the Arizona Supreme Court, and Clarence Thomas is their kid's godfather. So Jenny Thomas is badgering her to set aside the certification for the election, just undeclare Biden the victor and create their own slate of electors. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. Meanwhile, Clarence Thomas hears a case regarding communications between the White House and everybody trying to overthrow this damn election, and he doesn't recuse himself. Are you telling me that you believe that Clarence Thomas didn't know his wife was contacting the Bullock household? I mean, he's, he's godfather to their child. You telling me he didn't know that he was contacting them, asking Shauna Bullock to, to, to overturn this election? And Shauna Bullock didn't shy away either. I mean, she immediately told Jenny Thomas how to protest, you know, file protests and stuff in Arizona. And uh, side note, she's running for Secretary of State now. Yeah, good news there, right? Because she absolutely failed because she tried to pass a bill. Shauna Bullock tried to pass a bill in Arizona that said the legislature could legally just set aside certifications. You know, that was the problem they had before is they couldn't legally do it. They wanted to make it legal. Thank God that got voted down, but now she wants to be Secretary of State. Yeah, folks, these people are a cancer. They are a real cancer, and we've got to root it out. Clarence Thomas needs to be impeached. He does. You know, there, there's a real problem in our Supreme Court. It's no longer just calling balls and strikes. We've got people in that Supreme Court that are absolutely politically involved. They're absolutely crossing the line with where their money and whatnot comes in, blurring those lines. And Jenny Thomas is the worst of it. She had to apologize. Did you, if you, do you know what listserv is? Listserv is, a lot of people don't. Listserv is just a service where you batch together a bunch of people on emails and, it, and, and you create groups and you have discussions back and forth uh, between people. Well, all of Clarence Thomas's clerks are in a listserv group together. Jenny Thomas just took over Clarence Thomas's Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas's listserv and tried to push this crazy QAnon nutball let's overthrow the election conspiracy on the Supreme Court justices listserv. This is going out to judges. These former clerks are all over the place. She ended up having to make a public apology for it. But yeah, I mean, think about that. This is part of his job now she is getting involved in. All of his former clerks. It's insane, people. It is just insane. This is beyond the pale. This has to stop. We have to impeach Clarence Thomas, and we have to impeach him now. Thanks, folks. I appreciate you. Texas Paul out.